provocative. You'll have to pay a premium. Uh, you'll have to pay an excessive amount of taxes. They're going to be taxing it, you know, somewhere between 20 and 40 percent, similar to tobacco products. So if you go and spend ten dollars, it's going to be 13, 38. We'll just sell it for 10 a gram, no tax. I think most of the kids that are selling weed in the parks uh, pretty much dumpster dive it from whatever the dispensaries, the grow houses throw out. A lot of dispensaries to throw away clippings and trim in there, and uh, at night I just jump in their trash cans and take it all out. When you cut up, you know, 20, 30, 40 plants, and you have a big garbage bag full of leaves that you have mixed in with dirt and other stuff that you swept off the floor, you can't really make products out of that. Basically, just shove a lot of trim in a tube, blast it with a, a butane, and you get like a THC concentrate out. I mean, I'm making like 2,500 a month just jumping in the trash can every night, well, like three nights a week. They have guard dogs, they have Dobermans, they have like razors on their collars, so like even if you go up to touch the dog, like it, your hands are gonna get cut. I've been, had people like just driving around the warehouses and cars, flashing guns at me, tell me to go away. I'm like, if you're gonna shoot me, the cops are gonna come and then you're in trouble. You talk about dumpsters. We have uh, dumpsters with bare lids out there because uh, people do break into them. It's kind of fun to watch the security film with that. It is a felony to pop a lock, but I don't think they should be just throwing away all that free money, especially when people are in debt and people are homeless. I mean, another man's trash, another man's treasure. My nickname out here is uh, either Tennessee or Dumpster Love, because uh, I got love for the dumpsters and the dumpsters got love for me. Vocative.